Good evening everyone, my name is Christian from Two-Headed Wolf Gaming and welcome to another end of the day as we play another hour of Path of Exile. So what we're going to do is, going, is that we're going to pick a few more maps for us and get going on exploring the Atlas. Have myself a cup of tea just to get me ready to go to bed. So we'll see, let's see. An arid lake map. We're gonna start making doing more level 3 maps. We have plenty of them here. Some of which are corrupted. We'll see how many of them we can do together now. Let's see. Upgrade. This one is corrupted, but we still we can still do it. So identify these ones and give it augment it with a few more things, whatever we can for now. Now just to increase the amount of stuff that we could get. Well, you might see here that I've used a lot of jeweler's orb and this fusing link, trying to make Oro sacrifice a six link, which is pretty difficult at this moment. I know, probably could have gotten slightly cheaper on the market using Chaos Orbs or Exalted, I am not sure, but I have a build in mind that I am going to show off at some point, I'm still working on it. Um, generally I play with the character um, whenever I have time in the morning or a break during work and I feel like uh, doing something else for a change then, uh, you know. Anyway. Let's get this going. There's a lot we want to go through today, so let's take these forward. Let's obtain some sulfite. I tried doing a few missions in the heist and I lost a few. I did a few contracts. At the same time, I also did... A few... I, I dug into the mine. Basically, I used all the sulfide that we had. I didn't find anything special just yet. So for the moment, I can afford basically um, just doing that on my own. There's already a lot of content that we want to go through during this league with all these episodes. And I'm not sure in that showing Delve and all the other leagues is going to be enough or, or we will be able to fit it all in into one one of these series so i'm gonna do this first just to make sure that we reach some sort of end game i am having some problems today as far as the lag goes hopefully it's not gonna interrupt us too much but we'll see Minions have elemental resistances, some lining arrow, yeah, nothing special. Let's continue onward. We have three rituals, so we'll unlock all before moving forward. When I'm ready and not before. But basically, uh, right now. Everything here I'm doing here, the way I'm doing this series is an experiment for me. Like I, I have I don't have the experience to know what works for for the channel and for the series and how you like to see and to watch it and your feedback uh, would be very valuable. So if you have any thoughts whether it is good, whether it is bad either via the comments or via email, either one works for me. Could really use some thoughts on how how you'd like to see the series going forward. I'm starting to thinking to think about streaming as well somewhere in the future, in the maybe nearer future than I thought about before. And maybe Path of Exile will be one of those games where we 
We can do a weekend whenever there's a release of a new league. Might be there in the front line with everybody else just trying to play for a few hours. It might be only dreams. I am dreaming of it at the moment, trying to imagine how it would work and what can I do to make it happen, but I will have to see as time passes. Primordial stuff, there's some unique items that I haven't really seen before. But I'm not really sure if these are really good. I like these. Can I afford all of these? I think I can afford all of these unique items. Since I've never seen them before, i rather have them. Like, I'll get them right now and then I'll be checking them when we're not uh, recording. If there's anything super interesting, maybe we'll talk about it. Is this the arena or is this like another part of the map? No, it is the arena. These are the Gorgons. Or was. Sorcerer's Gloves. A Prophecy Wand. Let's take that as well. We're very close to getting another level. And we would be at 84. So we're getting closer and closer to to level 90, to where the real struggle starts to begin. When I'm ready, and not before. At this point, we're also farming, like we're fighting on low level maps. And thus the experience is not really the most efficient for our level. There is a chart online, like if you look for I think it's something called a experience chart. Let me check it out. After the, this map, I'll check it out really quickly. Maybe I can at least show you the link or how to find the link. But there is a really nice chart of uh, or like an Excel chart with the levels and the amount of experience you get. Okay, another orb of transmission. Could use some fusing, more fusing orbs. Because at least I managed to get the six sockets in that sword. Okay, we're done with this map. Let's go home. Mm, what is this? Spell damage, cold damage to spells, lightning resistance, mana on kill. Mm. Not necessarily something really special. Do like this. And I think I might just like it more than this one, but for now we'll just put it there. Mind damage, dagger, splitting. Okay, that is not that special. Hello. I just removed the fog in the hideout to get a tiny bit more performance. To so give me a second, please. And I am looking now for that Excel. It is called a POE experience table. Let's do a share right here. There we go. So yeah, it's a pretty big Excel sheet. You look for it like this, POE experience table in uh, Google 
and I'm sure you'll get this. Like the link is not easy. But you can see right now we are trying like you can get experience per zones and things like that. There's a lot of information over here, but on the top you have the level like character level here at the top and here are the maps we are now farming tier 3 right so at tier 3 we should be and we have level 83 yes so tier 3 level 83 we are now getting only 36% of the experience so we're doing this mostly for currency and completion but to have to gain a hundred percent efficient experience on the map we would need to do over here like tier 11 maps you can see that there's a green area here like there's an efficient level and the distance is about 10 levels whenever you if you are of a lower level you'll get penalties to the experience gain. So you cannot have another player pull you through these maps if you are too underleveled. You, you cannot f create a character or level up a character like this. And if you are overleveled, once again, now, but that's pretty normal. You can see that once we leave, reach level 99, well, on tier 15 maps, we would get 6% experience efficiency so that's about it for for this so poe experience table you're probably learning some really <laughs> some really weird stuff on this channel like some you're finding links that are not necessarily promoted in the community mostly because the community knows what he's talking about at least the people that i've been watching who knows for the rest uh, yeah that was stupid it took me a moment to realize there that I am pretty close to those feeling overconfident yeah let's keep let's keep our distances Otherwise, we're going to pay the price and I don't want to take a whole lot of penalties here. Yeah, I mean, the best thing about this character is that we can keep a distance. So we'd better use it. Okay, we have a veil area. Let's see. Before. What do they have here? Reduced player resistances. They, we are cursed with elemental weaknesses, but that is fine. The point is not to have elemental reflection. That is something we don't want, because our attack is fully elemental, and that would just kill us in one hit. Let's also open some of these chests. There's pretty good chances that they will drop something good. Good. Okay, what else do we have in here? Hmm. I don't feel too threatened right now, which is slightly weird.
Cut there. Who knows? Now, while I was trying to build this character, like the other character that I'm doing is a scion. And I've actually took it, took the playthrough a lot slower and I got through the lore, like I'm listening to the conversations all over again. Every dialogue, every options from the current characters. And it took me a, quite a few days now to get to, I think I'm at Act 4, but it has been fun to, to remember some of the events. So I encourage you to go, especially the first time when you're playing, to go through the lore. Like give it a go, give it a good go. Try to listen to everything, because afterwards you are going to speed a lot through the game. And you're not really going to read anything else. Once you go through, it's very difficult to slow down. Because you'll want to do builds a lot more than you'll want to listen to lore. But I've re been creating this Scion character. And I've been following another guide. What it does, it uses the sword you just saw that I added in my chest. It converts physical damage to fire. When I'm ready and not before. And what it uses as a skill, you use many different skills as a level up, but the final form is with something called a flicker strike. A flicker, fl uh, flicker strike. What it does is basically it teleports on an enemy and it does an attack and you have the possibility to add a support gem which makes it makes the attack chain or the skills chain which means you'll be jumping on two more targets at the first level with the possibility of increase of course and so you jump from monsters to monsters and doing a, an attack the screen is going really crazy like it really jumps from uh, basically from monsters to monsters, taking them out. It's it's difficult for the, the eyes, I would say. It's not it's not a build that I would recommend to everybody. It even says in the guide that that is something that uh, you have to pay attention to. And there are builds like this in this game where. There's a lot of lights, there's a lot of elements going on. And it, they can be tiring on the eyes. For that build I don't really use the full screen. And I play it in window mode just to reduce the strain it might have on the eyes. Okay, let's see. Do we have anything here that we want? Tormented spirits, I don't really care for, to be honest. But maybe we'll buy a scarab. Why not? But what's really cool about that build is that it's quite cheap. So you don't need a whole lot of investments. It can be used as a league starter. The sword is not that rare. And it can be actually pretty fun. So I'm trying now to get it to, to a point where it works. Where I get a six, six link on that sword. Because I want to give it its maximum power. And I'll probably show it off at some point. During this playthrough, we're definitely going to focus on that as well. Like, or, or give it a go, give it an episode or something like that. Or maybe just show it off for five minutes, because it might be too tiring for some of you. Undersea map with delirium. Yeah, I want to take this. Ok, 
Okay, there's the arena. Okay, we've explored everything that we needed, so let's go down here. And get to fight our boss. A high little mancer. With plenty of enemies. We need to take them out before he appears again and that is it an atlas mission from alva okay and the ritual site which means that the boss is back here we'll be fighting the boss again i believe yeah let's use some of these this could have been a great thing to to use in order to capture this ritual site. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I will take the scarab. And I will take these. And that should be about it. And brand new citadel we've unlocked. Awesome. So we have four, we will need four more. 26% chance for maps to drop one tier higher. Each bonus objective you complete increases this by one. Okay, so we're doing pretty well here. We should be able to get a peer map pretty soon. I do wonder, do we have a peer map in any of these? Well, not yet. Maybe Zana will have some. I suppose I was a fool to suppose. Let's go back home. Mm, I'll be selling these. Greetings. As we do not need them. I wanna do this map with delirium. Keep your life to your own. Let's see, purchase item. Do you have any peer map. You do not. Come back soon. Just threw what I wanted to use in the chest. Let's get it back. Mm, map. Now which one was it? Because I don't remember exactly. Uncan City, Tower, Tropical Island, of course it's in the, at the end. And I'm not gonna use any cartographers, who, although map items and talismans. Ah, let's give it a go. Maybe there will be something really good on it. Burning ground, rarer monsters, fire two additional projectiles. Uh, don't really like that. So what I'm gonna do here is, like, I'm gonna take this away and add a new bonus. Monsters firing two additional projectiles can be pretty bad for most builds. Like, when we destroyed those porcupines in the last dungeon, you re remember that on this map they would fire two more projectiles for each projectile. So that is, can be pretty problematic. Let's give this one a go though. And I'm gonna throw in some sulfite. So now we are on a delirium map. Which means there's no timer. We are going to get maps. This is fossils and this is... Mm. Is it delirium? I forgot what it is. Anyway, but basically these are the type of enemies that we get. 
Everything will drop. It, it, there's no drop at the end of the uh, time. It's whenever you fill one of these stacks up, the items will drop on the ground directly. So, just remember that because I was so used to getting the timer and dropping the items at the end of it, I was looking for monsters, like trying to complete a map until I started looking online to see that, yeah, as you can see here, the items drop directly. Well, let's take that armor as well. And the point of this map is to clear it as much as you can. The more you clear, the more items you will be getting. Though it can be challenging as well. Okay, what else do we have here? If you are these talismans, we're gonna get them. Just because I'm more curious to see at the end to analyze them and see if there's anything good there. Ooh. Yeah. Yep, we're starting to hit some walls here. Let's quickly throw in here whatever we do not need right now. Get enough space for the rest of the things. Let's see, where is that? Oof, oof, oof. This guy. He's a beast. Cannot be fully slowed. Resist elements. And resist chaos. And he is tough as nails. And he is quick too. For the, such a big beast. Ah. Oof. There we have it. So we'll have to see how we make this f make through without dying too much. Uh, the arena? Yeah, let's take care of the arena before we explore the rest of it. Ooh! <laughs> This is crazy. This is so crazy. She has delirium modifiers too on her. Oh, plus we're, we're getting that 5% extra damage like in these areas. That is not a little. Let's see, Eclipse stuff. Another Prophecy Wand. We can get some of these as well. Chaos Orb, the Lover. Orb of Alteration. And that should be more than enough, I think. For now. Let's continue going this way. We have a few Alters. Alters, but these don't seem to to be getting any kind of influence from the delirium. And okay, more talismans, more maps. Let's get this open.
Nope, apparently some of these enemies are here. Okay. Uh, some of the enemies are delirium, I wanted to say. But let's see. Okay, nothing that seems that impressive, to be honest. This one we need, and I need these ones. For my very own use. I like the craziness of the map. This is this is why the end game is so so appreciated and at the same time can be very frustrated. Can you imagine that be that character we had in the last league with the bleeding bow with the slow stacks with everything like when I'm ready, given how much we were struggling throughout the normal campaign can you imagine it throwing that character into this madness where we have to be so quick and we're still not not taking all of the damage because we do have golems protecting us and we we get a bunch of buffs directly from them And it's because of this that in the end game you need a character that is pretty well put together. Too much clutter. Uh, actually, let's identify it first. Let's see if this something I want. There's some energy shield on it. There's some intelligence, mana, cold resistance. Not that impressive. I mean, that extra energy shield is not enough to justify keeping it. Most of the amulets probably are not really worth keeping either, but we are for now going to keep them. Okay, let's attack from a different side while they're still occupied with the golems. Glimmer of Hope, new card. What I really like is the fact that we're really getting a lot of uh, flask recharge, so I can basically use my flask almost all the time. Now I think we have to go home and clear our inventory. Let's see, you, not interesting. Mm, plus one to cold spells, but other than that, it's not interesting. This one has plus one to cold spells, but still not enough to be truly useful. Mm. We already have the armor, so... For the amulets, we're not gonna read them now. Okay, and finally we're going to this inventory and throw this here. Sell the rest. Greetings. Go with courage. Yeah, we'll destroy that. Hey, okay, let's go back. I thought I'd do a, a lot more maps today, but it seems like we're gonna do a lot here. Okay, let's look later in what's left.
We got a bunch of cards. But nothing of true value. At least not for us. A contract we found that is good. More lovers maps. Okay, we achieved a brand new level there. And we just found plenty of enemies. Let's throw some more. Ooh! Woof! <laughs> really close there. Really close. Let's stay behind this corner. We'll use our Veil arc as well. Which really does a lot of damage. Man! That was so close. So awesome. Let's see, where is the last enemy? There's one more enemy around here somewhere. Okay, done. A uh, two stone ring with cold and lightning resistance. Okay. Fossils, more maps. And we'll take a look here. But we have company, so let's take care of them first. Okay. Five increased maximum life. The rest of the stuff here doesn't look that impressive. So I'll take the Chaos Orbs, I'll take this. The amount of currency that I've been collecting during this league is really impressive. Small cluster jewel. Okay. More sulfite. Superior orb of storms. A, le a quality 17. So if we're gonna keep it, let's see, what is our orb of storms like right now? Uh, where is it? Here? It's at level 20, so 185... 555, 4 additional targets, like 4 beams, but this has increased lightning damage. I guess that for the moment we'll do this and I will be using it to upgrade it later on. Yeah, I'll keep this. We can level up another Orb of Storms. I'm not using it for a whole lot. Just yet. Uh, or, I'm not sure. Let's just level it up like this. Rats! Mm. I think that one of the future campaigns should probably be on Hardcore. Or I should just create a character on Hardcore and train myself to pay more attention to this. Oh, I think I'm always going to be a casual player. I'm not sure if I'll ever reach a level of mastery to... I was listening... I think yesterday it was a Path of Exile podcast. And the members were talking about doing hardcores and things like that because like they know how to make currency like so quickly that it's not impressive for them to play in the so-called trade league anymore because they can make quickly currency and get all the items that they want or most of the items that they want and things like that. Which on one side is very impressive, on another side it's like, oof. 
18 intelligent, 16 increased lightning damage, 13 increased mana regeneration, 14 lightning damage converted to cold damage, your spells have a 100% chance to shock against frozen enemies. Maybe this is a ring that we could use later on. I'm not really sure. Uh, shall we keep this one? I guess I'm gonna keep like this. I am going to be changing some colors here, like make it all blue. Just like that, so we can level this up as well. And then we'll replace it probably. Mm, let's go... Eh, we can leave some stuff here. Yeah, and we'll reorganize it when, Greetings. whenever it, it's necessary. Farewell. But it... No, no. Okay, next map. Let's continue here. And let's get some more sulfite. We're not getting a whole lot per map at this level. how we can do this without getting hit by those spikes. Okay, it's looking pretty good. I'm re still looking for plenty of... for some of the ascendancy. Trials to get that fourth ascendancy. Though it's only this character that I've reached the end game with, I'm so ready and not before. I'm not really hurrying up with the other characters, as I do want to explore like the entire map together with you. I don't want to go because the the account is common, right? Like, all the characters share the same map, the same stash, everything else. And I wanted to do this because in order to have more time to make more builds, you want to be in the same league where, where you have most of your items. Or that's what I would think. Like the sword we just... Uh, I just showed you that I'm trying to make a six link. That's something we found with the witch uh, in one of our past episodes. Plus, we found that sword before I before as well, but I I lost. I think it was in a heist, a heist map I was showing. So far, so good. We are at 80% for a new level up. Okay, we have some traps here. And we have the Vision of Justice. And we took her out quickly. Perfect. I guess we're gonna fight her again in this ritual. Oof, oof. There it is. Okay, we have one more ritual site, so I'm not gonna go through items now. map I think I'll show you two new things since we do have like 15 minutes more 
I'm gonna take a quick look once again through the market, see where our enlightened gems, uh, like the prices, where they might be, maybe there's an amulet that we need. We're gonna do and take care of some of that shopping, if we can. And then I think I'm going to do a special type of map. You will see in a second. Okay, so we're getting the boss here again. Okay. Oof. And yeah, I'm thinking I'll show you one of these, the bl a blight map. Which should be really cool to see for the first time. Let's see, one of these circlets, maximum energy, some mana, no. Tormented by a spirit, no. Some life, some energy shield, some chaos resistance, uh, this could be pretty good. I'm gonna defer that one. Because I want some orbs of fusing. Okay, 85 experience. Another divine vessel, that is great. Divine Vessel being the items we need to capture more souls to upgrade our Pantheon. Okay, uh, I think we're basically done here. It says, like this, it says on every map, even if there's no trial, we have the quest, I guess. As we do with the rest. Let's take a trip back home. I'm gonna leave behind all of these. Maybe for today, I, I don't think we'll be able to do any of the other maps. So I'm gonna make space for what's about to happen. And I am going to upgrade this map. Mm, what did I do? Did I throw them? Yeah, I threw them in the stash. Let's see. Sorry about that. I'm back. So what we're going to do is gonna we're gonna take one of these maps. Let's take the jungle first, and I am going to be giving it item quantity and quality, and I'm gonna make it special. Let's see. We we have fire two projectiles and two skills chaining two additional times. Definitely not something that we want. Area contains many totems, I'm fine with that. Increased area of effect, I'm fine with that. Monster damage, yes. Laying enemies close together has 13 chance to attract monsters from beyond. Okay, so it could be slightly dangerous, but for the first time, we're gonna do a blight map. And we can't add anything else on it. But what it is, is one of those fungal tower maps. So we're gonna start here and it's gonna spread out and it's going to be as you can see an entire map just with blights okay I'm gonna do some ice here I will throw one of these here shock fire and let's do some stunning and then how else do we want to improve it i guess going for one of this 
could be better. Um, what else? Okay, let's get this started. There's gonna be a lot of them coming in and there's going to be quicker expansions and everything else. You can see, it's already trying to spread. Our skill though should work pretty wonderful here. Light is trying to spread. Okay, where is spreading now? Well in a totally different direction there where we have what this tower can really do. troops. When I'm ready and not before. Remember that some of these have modifiers on them? Uh, so you need plenty of everything. Okay, new routes. We have new enemies here. There's a boss. And if you die, time doesn't stop here. So you have to make your way over quickly. If you are planning to... Uh, not have the not lose the map basically okay gonna get even crazier in a second you have seen nothing yet Some of these, like you can see the big signs on the map, those are like bosses. Okay. Our attacks are quite quick. And that is awesome. Then we have things here, let's... We have to survive for two more minutes. So it's not gonna be super easy. We're just getting started. Okay, good. There's another boss which has appeared here. Okay. I think we're doing okay. Okay, let's get some help, some minions. More enemies coming in. And some of them are actually quicker. Which is not great for us. Uh, let's go with a fire tower there. You're making me nervous. Then I'm ready yeah. and not before. Come on. Yeah, plenty of those smaller enemies are jumping in. Okay, we have a slug crusher. Okay, we're starting to finish the map. A 
Eight seconds to go. <laughs> we have to make it through. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> By the way. Yeah, some of these bosses really strong. Yeah, but unfortunately we are getting the graphics downgraded. It's really a side effect of the amount of monsters and calculations that they have to do. Hopefully one day the angel will be strong enough to support all these without decreasing the graphics. At this point the time is up but you still need to clear all the monsters before you can consider the map completed. Okay, I guess there's only this guy left. Whew. And now it's time to get really rich. So here we are. First of all, we get something from the center. If, if we didn't have a loot filter, the map would be absolutely filled here. You wouldn't really have the ability to really make a difference between what items you'll take and what items you won't. It would take you a whole lot of time. So really grateful for loot filters is what I'm trying to say. Um, what else? Well, now we open some of these chests. We have uh, weapons here. Here we have just items, like a random combination of items. Superior Herald of Purity, I'll take some of that. I'll take everything with Superior. These are all unique stuff. I don't think I have these. Two Not sure about that. Two. Let's take a portal home. And we'll see some of the stuff we got. Add 4 to 11 fire attack per buff on you. Pretty cool. Avail Claw. 2% of physical attack damage leech test life. Let's see. We didn't have that. We didn't have any of these. Gems. Red. Throw that in. Talk to June. Blessings. Unveil this one. And we're gonna give it... Yeah, the increased physical damage. And then we're just gonna sell this. Be careful. Yeah, don't care about this anymore. So we'll also throw this in here. Let's make more space. And go back. What other riches did we get? A goat's horn, some bronze scale gauntlets. I know I have the strap leather. And since it doesn't have multiple links, I don't really care for it. This is really cool. We get the oils. I haven't shown what the oils do just yet. But I will. Uh, pretty soon. So, sapphire. Okay. No. Here we have more weapons. Nothing useful. Armors. A silken hood. More oils, which is absolutely great. Some blight seas. Let's see. Oh, jeweler sword, jeweler sword, chromatic, a studded shield, some sorcerer's boots. They might work for us. We'll see. I 
Now for me personally, I really love these types of maps. This is another one of those leaks that who, I, from what I've heard and from what I've read, like the feedback that I was looking at and the people that I was following, was not such appreciated, not a... Oh, we found another Exalted. Awesome. But basically this league wasn't as appreciated either, mostly because it has this kind of tower defense. But for me personally, I really like it. I think it adds that extra challenge. It's not just a simple tower defense, there's a lot. Like you have to do a lot of work as well. You don't just sit behind and uh, hide. Well, plus there's a lot of upgrades to the towers. So that make, makes it pretty nice. So when I'm ready, think that's I'm about before. it. We collected everything that was to be collected on the map. We got rich. And that should be all everything that we we had time for today. I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope you've learned a few new things or discovered a few a new elements from this game that we can play with in the future. As I said, starting from tomorrow's episode what we're going to do is we're gonna use whatever anoint oils we have maybe we'll buy a few from the market as well and we'll probably start with the market and see um, some of our of the other items that we are looking for like an enlightenment gem and owls amulet and things like that but for the moment thank you very much for watching and i wish you all a wonderful evening, until tomorrow.